Hey, would you like to learn how to color match Pantones in Adobe Illustrator? Just stay in this video, cause I'm gonna teach you how. Okay guys, we're gonna start by creating a new document in Adobe Illustrator. It doesn't matter the size, and in this document, I'm just gonna create some squares just to make an example. And I'm gonna drag the swatches right here so you will have a better idea how to match the Pantones in Adobe Illustrator. I'm gonna select all the colors, and I'm gonna select all unselected, all unused, and then I'm gonna delete them. I'm gonna click yes. So we only have these colors right here. The problem that we have when we try to match a Pantone, we don't know the color itself. Let me create some random colors here so I can help you better with that. Let me remove the broken in them and I'm just gonna select the colors. I'm gonna go one by one. This one, gonna be, um, let's go with a red, like orangey red, something like that. I just wanna go with a random color. Something like that will be fine. This one is gonna be a yellow color, like something like this will be fine. And then this one will be Let's go with the green color just to just to know. Okay, now the idea is try to find this color in Pantones. To match the Pantone of this color is really simple and it takes only these steps. We're gonna go with this first color, the red color. If we double click it, we don't see the Pantone when we go with the color picker. There is an extra step that we need to go. We need to go with the object. We're gonna go to, we need to go to edit. We're gonna go in uh, edit colors, recolor artwork. It's really important to click there. When we recolor the artwork, we can choose a color library. If we select a color library, it's gonna show us this list that we have right now. And in this list, we need to choose color books. These color books are the options that are gonna show us the Pantones. When we have these Pantones right here, we're gonna select the one that we're trying to use. For example, TMYK coded and it's gonna actually add in the swatches the number of the Pantone in the coded version of the of this Pantone book and we can just repeat this process with many other colors we go to edit we go to edit colors and then we click recolor artwork again select again the same color book we go to color books and we select C uh, TMYK coded boom we're gonna have the Pantone right here so every time we do it, we're gonna have the Pantone and it's really important at the moment of printing to match the Pantones. And let's try it again just with the green one just to see how, how good this works. We go to edit, we go to edit colors again, and then we select recolor artwork and we select, let's select a different color book this time. We're gonna select um, color books and we're gonna select this Pantone color bridge coded. Boom, we're gonna have this Pantone right here. So now we know how to match the Pantones and it's really, really simple and it only take like three steps. And that's how we match Pantones in Adobe Illustrator. If you feel like you learned something new, just give a like to the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.